Hey guys, Mara is here. How you doing? Um, before we get into this planter, I just want to say a few things about my plants in my bedroom, which I call my neglected plants. Um, the reason for that is they don't need much attention as most of them are cactus or cacti as they say. Um, I have a few succulent plants, but to be honest guys, I'm not really into succulent plants. But I do love Hawartia because I find them funky and unique. Um, I used to have Ichiviria, but I put them outside because they are not doing very well inside the house. Um, no matter where I put them, they just don't look right guys. So I put them outside into the garden this spring, I think. And then, yeah, so far they are doing very well. Anyway, I also want to mention that most of my propagated plants are here in my bedroom uh, because we have two window sills. Uh, one is facing south and the other one is facing east. Uh, so all my plants are receiving a lot of sunlight and it's really great when you are trying to propagate plants. Um, I used to have a white shelf in my south facing windowsill so I had more space for my propagated plants. But I removed it two weeks ago because I found my window quite cluttered. So now it's gone. It looks neat. Better. I think that's it guys. I really need to stop rumbling now but I thought I would share it. As I'm pretty sure some of you are interested. Um, yeah, uh, I think one more thing guys before we get into this video. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to notify you every time I upload the video. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you're a plant addict like me. And write a comment below if there's anything you want me to share regarding with plants. Um, I think that's it. Get your tea ready guys and let's get into this video. Okay guys, this is my south facing window where some of my propagated plants are sitting. A few of my succulents, hanging plants and my beautiful oxalis. Um, first is my beautiful variegated string of hearts. I got this from eBay this January. Um, it was a cutting when I bought it and I propagated it in soil. Um, it was a slow grower but it is beginning to thrive now as you can see. Um, she is getting along and looking healthy. I just love this variegated one because it's so pretty and pink. This one is my old Christmas cactus. Um, I can't remember when I got this, but I think it is 10 years old. Um, it was given to me and it was doing very well. However, I overwatered it one day. And since then, it has been suffering from root rot and half of the plant died. Um, it used to be really big and now it's just like this. But it is doing okay now and looking happy. And the foliage is turning pink, which I'm pretty chopped with. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to my propagated jade plant. Um, like I said from my previous video, uh, I pruned my jade plant as it was getting big. So I propagated the cuttings into soil and gave them to my friends. Um, this is the only cutting left now, but it's already reserved to one of my clients as I promised to give her one. Next to it is my propagated string of pearls that I got from my dear friend Alpea. Um, so far, it is doing very well, although I am keeping eye on this one as it was battling with aphids recently. But yeah, apart from that, she's very pretty. Next is a type of peperomia, but I can't remember what's it called. Um, it was given to me by my dear friend again along with my string of pearls. Um, I was having a difficult time of propagating this one as it was losing leaves. So I moved it here to a south facing window sill and since then it has bounced back. I'm very pleased. This one is my propagated peperomia rosso. Um, I propagate the leaves just to see if it's going to work and it did. Um, as you can see there's so many babies but by the time you see this video it was no longer in this window. Uh, my friend already has it as I propagated them for her, so I just thought I would show you this plant in case you found it interesting. Next is my Moringa tree that I grew from seed. Um, so far it is doing okay, but I don't have high hope for this one. Um, but we'll see if it's going to last. Um, I would be grateful if it did because I miss eating Malungay or Moringa. 
Next is my succulent Portula caria abra. Not really sure how to pronounce it, guys, but I got it from eBay along with my barricaded string of hearts. And it is also a cutting and I propagate it in soil. And it's doing very well. And I just repotted it into this cute llama. Um, this one is Hoya Kerii or Keri. I'm not really sure, guys, but I got this Valentine's Day. And I have been wanting to have the heart-shaped Hoya plant for a while, but I couldn't find them anywhere in the garden center. So I found this one in Tesco and was hesitant to grab it because they said it is not going to thrive. It will be just like this forever, but we shall see. Um, I really want to see this Hoya thrive, so yeah. Um, okay, this is my tiny jade plant that I am propagating right now. Um, we got a cutting from a Chinese takeaway. I do apologize because there were lots of jade plants on display and they are all flowering. And I couldn't help myself because I was fascinated by them. Um, my jade plant hasn't flowered since I got it. So I thought this was a different variety. And then I found out later that it takes years and has to be fully matured before a jade plant flowers. So... Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> okay, this one is another succulent. Um, it's Crasula Perforata that I got from eBay. Um, the seller kindly gave me a freebie when I ordered my variegated string of hearts and afra. Um, I was very pleased when I received it. So yeah, it is doing great guys. As you can see, it's thriving. Um, next is my aloe vera. I only got this plant this week because I have been wanting to have this plant again. I had aloe vera before but I gave it away as it was getting bigger and bigger and I had no room for it. And now I'm missing it so I bought another one and this time I will keep it even if it grows wild. Okay, last in this window seal is my exquisite Oxalis triangularis. Um, yes, I have another one which has darker um, foliage. Um, yeah, it's very pretty and it's flowering non-stop this summer. Um, I got the bulbs from the garden center and put them into soil, then voila! <laughs> um, if you want to see my other one, watch my previous video, guys. I just, I just couldn't stop admiring this one, guys. It's just very pretty and it's priceless. Okay, this is my east-facing windowsill where all my cactus are sitting. Um, they are my neglected plants, guys, because they don't need much attention like watering. All I have to do is check them now and then to see if they are still alive. Um, but first, let's start with another prayer plant, which is, which is my Calatia mosaica, also known as Calatia network because of the print in their leaves. Um, it looks like pixels. Um, if you want to collect a prayer plant, guys, get this first if you can find one because this is considered a rare plant. But if you can get hold of them, grab it because it is a great beginner's plant. Um, it is a very resilient plant. It doesn't need a lot of attention or watering because I only water this guy once a month or when the soil is quite dry. However, just recently, this plant has been battling with white flies, um, hundreds of them crawling in the soil, not in the leaves. So I had to bait this plant with dishwasher water and spray it with indoor plants insecticide. So far, I have managed to destroy them. Um, here and there, I spray them again with insecticide to kill the rest. So I'm watching this plant to make sure it is doing okay. Um, but despite that, this plant is still doing very well and has lots of shoots. Um, they were flowering but not fully and I think I kinda disturbed the flowers because I have been nursing this plant with insecticide and baited this plant twice. But as long as this plant is doing okay, I don't mind the flowers. Um, I will insert what the flowers look like. Um, it has not fully bloomed but you can see its white color. Um, for sure, it is pretty when in full bloom. Um, anyway, we'll update you guys in Jimia Garden in Instagram. So go follow me there if you're interested. Okay, let's go ahead with my cacti. Um, this one I made myself, my wee cactus garden. Um, I collected them over time, not in one go. Um, because I am looking for particular cactus that I really like. So here they are, looking lovely. Um, I completed this two years ago, so yeah. 
Um, next, I got from a dear friend at the Gemma when I visited her and her husband. So this one is precious too. And so far, they are doing great. And then the rest, I collected them over time when I used to be addicted to collecting cacti. So there is no story behind them. I just fell in love when I saw them. That's it guys, these are the plants in my bedroom, next up will be my kitchen, I have a few there, so I shall see you then in my next video, and please leave a comment if there's any video you want me to do regarding plants, and which plants are your favorites, I would love to hear from you. Um, okay, catch you next Thursday, and don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching, bye!